Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing six skincare and makeup hacks to make you look like a firecracker this Diwali. This video is in partnership with Nykaa. They are having a huge Diwali Dhamaka sale where products are going for up to 50% off. It's a crazy amazing sale. It's just the right time to stock up on your favorite skincare, hair care and makeup products. And I will be showing you how to prep in under 20 minutes. Shall we get started? But before that, guys, if this is the very first time you're seeing this face, hello, I am Jovita and I would love it if you took a second to click that red subscribe button just underneath this video. Now, let's start. The very first hack is to how to polish your skin in just 15 minutes. Now, if you've been lazy with skincare, if you've not been taking care of your skin or if your skin is just not doing its best, the one product that I'm gonna recommend to you to completely change that game is a peel and Dermaco has an amazing facial peel which is their 30% AHA 2% BHA peeling solution all you have to do is take just a little bit of this apply it all over your face and neck and leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes and wash it off I recommend doing this the previous night of the event not on the day of the event so that you can wash it off and really apply a nice thick moisturizer or serum if you want and your skin gets that time to regenerate the next day morning on the event oh your skin is gonna have the most beautiful texture it's gonna be supple glowy soft smooth all of the above if you haven't started with the peeling game yet this is the time and this is the time where you would use something like a peeling solution Tip number two is to use a primer before you apply a foundation. Now, I am not the biggest advocate of primer on a daily wear, on a daily basis. But when it comes to party makeup, guys, if you apply a primer, depending on your skin type, that can really elevate your makeup game from wherever you are to the next level, okay? I don't want to give you a score without even knowing what your makeup is like. If you have dry skin, apply a hydrating primer. If you have texture, if you have pore apply a pore filling primer if you have oily skin apply a mattifying primer and there are so many options on Nykaa and guys with up to 50% off now seriously go ahead I'll try to leave some recommendations down in the description bar below but the primer that I've been enjoying off late for this festive season is the sugar cosmetics base of glory pore minimizing primer because I have a little bit of visible pores on my cheeks and some fine lines on my forehead I mean we are all human guys don't try to shut close your pores. We all have them. But when we are applying makeup, we obviously want the appearance of smooth canvas, like a doll-like skin, which, I mean, what's the harm in that? This primer, when you apply just a touch of it on your cheeks and your forehead, it gives you such a poreless finish. It's sickening. It's sickening how beautiful your skin looks. I have also been asked if you can use a primer without applying a foundation on top because you like the look of the texture of your skin. Yes, you can. So if you do not want to apply a foundation, you're very minimal. You can just apply a primer, guys, and that's going to give you a very velvet, smooth finish to your skin without having that made up cakey look. This doesn't have any color at all, but it instantly smooths out that texture of your skin. Hack number three is for your hair. Now, whether you like to wear it natural like myself or you like to straighten it or curl it or put it up in a bun or whatever you like to do, I feel like a make or break situation is the frizz and fly away. And when we live in a humid place like in India, we can't do much to control that frizz and that can really ruin the look of your hair. I have a two-step method to control frizz and add shine to your hair without making it look greasy and this will last an entire day. Step number one is a hair serum. And I love the anti-frizz hair serum from Earth Collective. I like to take one or two pumps on my hand and apply this from root to tip everywhere that gets a little dry and frizzy and anywhere I want to add a little bit of shine. Curly hair especially looks so beautiful when it has shine. So do not be shy with this product. And step number two is a gel. Now a gel works especially nicer on girls with curly hair. If you have really straight hair and you have flyaways, you can apply gel just on your flyaways too. Or you could get away with a nice um, strong holding hairspray as well. But because I like to wear my hair curly and natural for the most part, I 
love a hair gel and I love the flax jello from ENDS Cosmetics. I love the smell of it. Both together also leaves my hair smelling so fresh and divine. I like it. So when you go around hugging your friends, you smell nice. You know, right? you smell fresh and your hair stays nice and shiny and frizz free during the entire night. Hack number four is to blush it out, guys. Usually, I feel like every time when we talk about a festive Indian desi makeup, we talk about really going heavy on the eyes, the coal and the gold and the glitter, or really, ooh, I just realized that I'm really heavy on eyes and lips. Who makes the rules, right? We can definitely rock it both. But anyways, anyways, coming back to the topic, we go really bold on the lips with the reds and the plums and the berries. Um, I feel like we don't put any attention to the cheeks at all. And this season, if you can get your blush game up, I highly, highly recommend it. And I've mentioned this so many times, guys. One of my favorite blushes is K-Beauty uh, blush in soft nude. And it, it suits people of all skin types, fair, medium, deep, dark, everyone. It's so pigmented, creamy, powdery. Um, no, not powdery. <laughs> I'm very shy with my blush. And the days that I just get a little daring with the blush, I feel like the face just looks so, so nice. So happy. <laughs> That's so healthy. So, um, you know, blushy. You know what I mean? Guys, you can see it on my face. Just blush it up, okay? Blush it up. My fifth hack, guys, is to ditch the highlighter. I feel like in 2021, we've seen enough highlighter. We are not in 2017 anymore, that beaming highlighter. I feel it's just a thing. We need to ditch that trend, okay? It's not natural. It's not alluring. It, that stripe of white on your cheek needn't look the most I don't know, fill in the blanks in the comment section below. What I recommend is getting a face mist, a bifacial face mist with oil and you know your water ingredients in there. Shake it up and mist it all over your face. And what this gives you is a very beautiful natural dew all over your face. I have zero highlighter on my face, guys. You can see the glow that this face mist has given me. My skin looks so healthy, so dewy, just all over, you know, all over. It's not just a stripe here and a dot here on the tip of your nose. It's all over. I love it. And I love, oh, by the way, I didn't tell you what this is. This is the Pixie Rose Glow Mist with seven flower oils. It's got argan oil, rose oil, avocado oil, a lot of good stuff. So I like to use this before I apply my makeup as a skin prep because it has amazing skin beneficial properties and I like to use it after my makeup to set it all. I also like to apply it while I'm doing my base to help blend the foundation and concealer. When you start incorporating facial mist with a little bit of oil in your routine, you will see how your foundation base game just changes. It gives you this poreless, waxy, you know, Madame Tussauds, real life kind of. <laughs> I am really tooting my horn here. But guys, I want you to try this hack and let me know how it goes in the comment section. We'll see. We, you just try it and we'll see. I'm so confident in it. <laughs> and finally, hack number six. A pet peeve of mine is to have to carry a lipstick for touch-ups throughout the day. Now, no matter what lipstick you apply, it will wear off as you eat your oily food and your drink and eat your sweets. It will at least wear off from the middle. It'll not look fresh and juicy and pouty throughout the night. Even if there is color, it's gonna be cracked up and all that. And I have a hack to fix that, guys. And that hack is to layer your lipsticks. And you start with the driest formula, your liquid lipstick, or you know, those K-Beauty crayons, which is so drying and very, very long lasting. The most long lasting dry formula goes on as the base layer. Today, I use the Lakme Absolute Matte Melt Liquid Lip Color in the shade Mulberry East as my first layer. And then you leave it on for around two minutes, 
so that you give it the time to really dry down and settle into your lips. And my second layer for today was Faces Canada Ultim Pro in the shade Oh So Berry. And I gave this also a couple of minutes to just really merge together and dry down onto my lips. And my final layer is the Nika lipstick in the shade Pilates. Now the combination of these three is gonna stay on my lips for a very much much longer time than if I were to apply just one lipstick. And now I don't really have to carry a lipstick to touch up but if I want to I just need to carry the cream lipstick because this when it goes on top it also adds as a hydrating layer. Instead of a lip balm, you can just apply a lipstick. This is just for one day. This is not every, this is when you have an event or a function, you know? Don't apply a lipstick as your lip balm on daily basis. That's not what I'm saying. So please let that not be the takeaway from this video. <laughs> I hope you're understanding what I'm saying. And that is it for this video, guys. Six amazing skin, hair, and makeup hacks to make you look like a firecracker this Diwali. Definitely check out the Diwali Damaka sale that's happening on Nika. Products up to 50% off is insanity. Insanity. Let me know what are the products that you will be putting into your cart this sale. And do you have any hacks for me? Leave them down in the comment section below. Cannot wait to reply to you guys. And also, if you enjoyed this video, guys, definitely click that like button. I love you so much. Mwah.